Good morning. It's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. We decided to have pancakes this morning. I said, Chris, let's do a live video. So you can tell it's morning by looking at me. Um, I didn't get dressed up. We're going to make homemade pancakes out of, from scratch, not out of a mix. Now, there is a homemade biscuit mix in my cookbook that has this pancake recipe on it. This is the volume two, but we will be mixing these up without the um, it, butter flavored Crisco. We don't have any but, butter flavored Crisco, so we're gonna use regular butter and Crisco together, okay? All right, we have some sausage left over from our Christmas party. We had a big Christmas party here. And so I'm going to place it in this air fryer right quick and just get it warm while we make our pancakes. And I actually don't even have it plugged in. I think my teapot's plugged in. So let's plug it in. Turn it on. Come on, Kasori. It's asleep this morning, too. And I think I'm going to uh, take the minutes down a little bit. Well, let's just hit the play button. We'll get it out in a minute. Okay, for the pancakes, you're just going to make a biscuit mix. So I'm going to use two cups of self-rising flour. There's one. And two. Then we're going to use, you need about a quarter cup of shortening butter, whatever. So we're going to use a little bit of butter and a little bit of shortening. And we're going to use our blending fork and we're going to blend this together. So what we're doing right now is creating a biscuit mix, okay? If you make my biscuit mix ahead of time, you can use your large KitchenAid mixer and it's really easy and you can make a lot. Um, or you can just mix it up from scratch. And of course, another option is to use the biscuit mix that I love most, and that's Southern Biscuit Mix Formula L. Um, I guess they can see me smashing that in on the sides. So you're just cutting in your shortening. You're going to want it to be about pea size. Um, I just meant it might be better from the other side for you to show them, but that's all right. Okay, so now we are going to go by this recipe and we're going to add what it says to add, okay? It says, that's ready, it says to add four pancakes, two cups of mix, which we've got, a teaspoon of vanilla, an egg, a cup of milk. So let me get a cup out, measuring cup. A cup of milk. actually put a little bit too much in there. Let me pour a little off. It's okay. Is it okay? Yeah. All right. Chris says it's okay. An egg, but this is a jumbo egg. Oh, okay. Let me pour a little off. You don't want to get it too runny. I got a jumbo egg today. Mm -hmm. um, and then sugar. Let me wipe my hands off. Two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna go ahead and throw in the vanilla as well. One, two tablespoons of sugar. Y'all, every time I think I got everything out for y'all, I don't. But then you get to see how mama really cook, right? Instead of pretending like you run a show. All right, there we go. That's pretty much it. So it says two cups of mix, teaspoon of vanilla, an egg, a cup of milk, and two tablespoons of sugar. We got it all together. We're just going to mix it up together. Now, normally, Chris would make pancakes every morning in a batter bowl. He makes pancakes every Sunday morning, okay? Um, that's what he does on Sunday. He loves pancakes. So he got up this morning and he was like, look, we've got sausage left in there from that party. Let's make some pancakes. I said, let's do it live. 
Do I need a little more in there, Chris? Is that wet enough, you think? I did pour off a little bit too much milk. Yeah, needs a little more milk. Yeah, I poured, when I when I poured my milk off a while ago, I poured out just a little bit too much. So you want it to be nice and moist. Here, let me get my spoon. Excuse my hand. Uses this scooper. It's just a standard um, scooper that comes with a set of silverware, you know, like stainless steel, whatever. It's an Onita. I guess that's how you say that. And so I'm not real sure how much it holds. I guess we could measure while we're waiting to hold this, waiting on this. I would think it's about a quarter cup. So we'll just see, and that way if you've got a quarter cup measuring spoon, you can use that much to make a pancake. Yep. It's a quarter cup scoop. That's what it is. So, y'all I'm making a mess, but I'm showing y'all something at the same time so it don't matter. Okay, we like to use this skillet to make pancakes in. You can tell it's black all around the edges. We hardly, this is the main reason we use this skillet is for pancakes. Um, this is a skillet that has the stone ceramic coating, um, and it is, there's a set of this on our website, and there are also a couple of singles on the website under our tab, Cookware. So if you're interested in getting one of these, that's where you get it. Um, they work really good. It's held up good. It's not beautiful once you've used it for a while, but it really cooks well, Okay. And we are into cooking more than uh, beauty here at the Nichols house. And I'm sure I could use my barkeeper's friend, and I have, but it don't clean up like stainless steel does. I'll just go ahead and tell you that. Which we don't care. All right, here we go. I think, how do you test to see if it's hot enough, Mr. Nichols? I just wait till I think it's hot enough. I it's usually warm. put it a little below medium because that's a, that's a big eye. A yeah, I'm going to sit this water sizzles. Oh, yeah, it's warm. Okay. okay, so you need to use a medium heat, not a high heat. You don't want your pancakes to get all brown, okay? You want them to be golden. And if you make them like this, they're going to fluff up. So let's put in a pancake. Is the first one, does the first one work or does it not? Yeah, it work. Okay. Lots of times, for some reason, with a skillet, when you put your first pancake in, and y'all know what I'm talking about, it turns all flat and ugly, and then the second one looks great. So we're going to see what happens, y'all. And we just got to add to Mama Butter Rich um, pancake syrup. We're going to put a little butter on them, a little syrup on them, put some sausage on the plate. Excuse me, Mr. Nichols. I'm going to move around for a minute. Let's get a couple of pieces of sausage out. Put on our plate. We like two pieces with our pancakes. Now, y'all know what kind of sausage we like while we're waiting on this to get just perfect. You want it to bubble, and you want it to bubble all the way across, not just on the outside. And it's starting to bubble. What do you think, Chris? You're the pancake man. Usually the first one I wait a little while longer. Okay. But see how it's rising up, y'all? You see how pretty that is? Uh, pancake mix does not make a pretty pancake like that. And it doesn't taste near as good. This is the sausage that we love. Swaggerty's. Okay. We're going to flip this sucker. Look at there. It's perfect. So as long as you keep your heat on medium, it shouldn't burn. It, even if you leave it in there a little bit longer, it should not burn. Okay, and get too brown if your temperature is right. So you just play with your temperature at home and you're going to be able to see how these work. Show them how it's lifting right there on that edge, Chris, if they can see that. Y'all see how it's rising right there? 
doing really well. Um, first pancake. All right, we're gonna make at least two. We all we all eat two pancakes. That's what we eat. This is a little bit thick, in my opinion. Is it to you, Chris? It's a little thick. You know, when they make waffles and stuff, the batter's really thick so that it works better in the waffle iron. It iron's. seems too thick because I make it really thin. Yeah, Chris makes it's, his it's, really thin. It's fine. There's no. I like it like this. I don't like for it to be so thin that... I just like for it to be thicker. And um, if you go by the recipe in the Volume 2 cookbook, it'll work perfect. Okay? So, um, and you'll be so pleased that you made a homemade pound cake. A pound pancake it's morning y'all i even had my cup of coffee here it is chris said um chris said is your hair okay and i said chris because i do get onto him sometimes when we're filming like a real film and my hair's sticking out and i'm like chris why don't you tell me my hair is sticking out he said is your hair okay this morning i said i don't care it's morning mm -hmm. i'm barefooted i got my pajamas on and um so it's morning, y'all. Good morning. It's not ready. Okay, it's not ready because it's not bubbling in the middle yet. Um, we are going to head back down to St. Mary's tomorrow with our kids. They have never seen the house that we bought. So we will be traveling tomorrow and traveling back over the weekend. Y'all keep us in your prayers and thoughts. I, will, I may post a couple of reruns. All right, now it's ready. You can tell it's starting to kind of bubbly up across the middle. Look, it's too brown. Not to me. Chris likes them like that. I don't. I don't like mine brown at all. And the so, thinner they are, the faster they, you know, they'll cook faster. They'll bubble up faster. Right. These are a little bit slower when they're thicker, but they sure are good. They taste really good. Oh, yeah. So anyway, y'all keep us in your prayers this week while we're down in St. Mary's. Letting the girls see the house for the first time. Somebody asked if there's a recipe for a syrup. You know, in the cookbook, we don't have a recipe for syrup in the cookbook. Well, no. <laughs> Me and Chris like just plain old butter flavored syrup. I mean, that's just how we are. That was too brown. I don't want it for my video. I, do. I like it. I know you like it. I'm going to put it over here and we're going to do one more. I'm going to turn the sucker down some. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this. Milk. No. Yes. Milk. Ain't going to hurt it. That was whole milk. Okay. Look, I'm cooking. I know what okay. I'm doing. Go for it. If it gets too thick, I'll thin it up a little bit. Now it's more like a pancake batter. See? Mm -hmm. It was just too thick. And then if I... If I left it like that, everybody on the video would be going, your batter's too thick. And now they won't be able to say that to me because I fixed it. Mm -hmm. Now let's make a real pancake. Get this thing out before it starts smoking. Here, I'll do it. Chris always worries about stuff while he's videoing. He can just tell me and I'll fix it. All right, so we just made a homemade pancake. It has two cups of flour self-rising, a quarter cup of half, really it's an eighth cup of room temperature butter, an eighth cup of shortening, um, vanilla flavoring, two tablespoons of sugar, one cup of milk, and one egg. Look how, now that's the way you want a pancake to look. See how it's bubbling across the top? It needs to be thin enough you can at least see the bubbles. Perfect. That's more like it, y'all. She just wants a pancake to take a good picture. No, I like them like this. I do not eat the dark ones. <laughs> do you know what I do lots of mornings? Because I'm not a, as big of a pancake fan as Chris. I take my pancake. I'll show it to y'all with this. I take my pancake... Because all it is is a fried biscuit. Really, it is. And I squirt mustard a lot right here. And then I take my sausage and I half it. And I put a half here and a half here. And I fold it up. And I eat it like a sausage biscuit. I do that lots. And drink it with my... And have coffee with it is so good. 
So if you want to uh, make extra batter and you want a good breakfast, look, that's perfect. And you want a good breakfast, you can do that. You can just make um, extra batter and get up and make a pancake and eat it like a biscuit with some sausage or bacon. Don't just have to have syrup on it. Lots of times instead of syrup, I also eat, um, I sprinkle mine with powdered sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg and don't even put syrup on mine. I'm not as big on just into the syrup as Chris is. But we're going to, of course, put syrup on this one. And let me put a little extra butter on there so it can be melting for the photo, y'all. Look at that. Does that look good or what? Homemade pancakes. I'm turning around for y'all so y'all can see how it rolls. Here we go with the syrup. Come up higher a little bit, Mr. Nichols. There you go. Now, if it was Chris, they'd have the whole thing would be swimming in it. <laughs> now, we're going to sign off so we can eat our pancakes while they're hot. And we thank you for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Pray for our family as we travel to St. Mary's. And y'all be patient for us to get on a video. I might put in a couple of reruns or something. Y'all have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you soon. I love you.